The Where Are You project is a way to immerse yourself in very high quality images. The key idea is that it's we're using immersive image technologies. So one is the Gigapan Panorama, the other one are called the Photosynth. With the Photosynth you can take many, many images and then a software program matches it based on textures and creates a three-dimensional space out of it. Gigapan is made up of many, many images that have been stitched together into one huge image so that you can then zoom into it and as you're zooming in you're getting further high resolution images that you can look at. One of the cool things about the Gigapans is you can fly into them in Google Earth. So you can be surrounded by it. The way people might be aware of the Gigapan technology, these high resolution panoramas, is through the Obama inauguration. Similarly, both Gigapan and Photosynth came on the scene a little more than a year ago. Where Are You was funded in part by the undergraduate admissions office because they we're excited about what it makes possible for prospective students to experience Rutgers in a virtual way. So Rutgers is the very first institution in the world that's using these technologies in a such a strategic fashion so that it allows people to have an integrated experience of the place. Rutgers having three separate campuses, with Where Are You, we can all, it comes all together. So somebody in New Brunswick can see what Newark is like, somebody in Newark can see what's going on in Camden. So you can use it both for educational purposes, you can use it to show what we are doing and the idea is also gigapans and photos that can be used for research purposes. What we've done is it's just the beginning of laying the first foundation so I'm hoping that people within the Rutgers community will become excited about this and th say yes I would like to have my space represented, I would like to have my activity represented and since we're also incorporating video and geocoding it, it becomes part of the overall experience. So we're, it's a very flexible way for, to tell a story in the 21st century.